We all know that moral courage exists, but what exactly is moral courage? Moral courage is the courage to take action for moral reasons despite the risk of adverse consequences. Courage is required to take action when one has doubts or fears about the consequences. Moral courage therefore involves deliberation or careful thought. Reflex action or dogmatic fantasism does not involve moral courage because such impulsive actions are not based upon moral reasoning. Moral courage may also require physical courage when the consequences are punishment or other bodily peril. The main question that will be addressed is how moral courage can be taught or developed. In this, we will be using guiding questions and examples to show you how this can be done. Mother Teresa found the missionaries of charity in Calcutta, in India, in 1950. For over 45 years, she ministered to the poor, sick, orphaned, and dying, while guides missionaries of charities expansion throughout India and then in other countries. Following her death, she was beatified by Pope John Paul II and given the title Blessed Teresa of Calcutta. In the 1970s, Mother Teresa became well known internationally for her humanitarian work and advocacy for the rights of the poor and helpless. Malcolm Muggeridge documented this favorably and wrote a book, Something Beautiful for God. Mother Teresa's missionaries of charity continued to work during her lifetime and at the time of her death had 610 missionaries in 123 countries, including hospices and homes for people with HIV, AIDS, leprosy, and tuberculosis, soup kitchens, children's and family counseling programs, orphanages, and schools. Governments, charity organizations, and prominent individuals have been inspired by her work. She received numerous awards, including the Indian government's Bharat Ratna and the Nobel Peace Prize in 1979. She remains on the whole one of the most admired figures in recent history, with even such religiously indifferent figures as Scott Adams and Dave Barry, using her as an archetype of virtue. In 2010, on the 100th anniversary of her birth, she was honored around the world, and her work praised by Indian President Pratiba Patel. Mother Teresa's philosophy and implementation faced some criticism. Catholic newspaper editor David Scott wrote that Mother Teresa limited herself to keeping people alive rather than tracking poverty itself. In conclusion, Mother Teresa was the example of moral courage. She risked death and injury at multiple points in time. Moral courage is arguably the most important type of bravery. And this, Atticus had. Moral courage involves the strength to stand up by your beliefs and do the right thing that you believe is the correct thing to do. Even when the whole world criticizes you and torments you for it. Atticus's decision to represent Tom Robinson brought a bunch of insults and threats to him and the rest of, the f of his family. But Atticus was willing to bear his fears with dignity. Moral courage also means you have the guts to take on th on a fight you know you'll lose, simply because you believe the reason why you're doing it is honorable, and you'll learn a thing or two from it. Atticus knows that he will lose his defense of Tom Robinson simply because of his defendant's color of skin. No one understood why Atticus wanted the so-called burden of handling the situation, really because no one wanted to know what the right thing w was the right thing to do. But when Scout asked him why he continued to stand up for someone that supposedly didn't deserve any respect, Atticus said, simply because we were licked a hundred years ago before we started, it is no right for us not to try to win. Atticus, from Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird, can influence modern day kids because in today's society, everyone wants to be different from everyone else, and that's exactly what Atticus did. He went against the Southern society's norms and did what he believed was right. Atticus was a standing model for moral courage, and that's the kind of thing kids look up to. When did you first start taking up with Victoria Price? After I went to work at the mill. After you started taking up with her, did you continue to go around with her in Huntsville? Yes, sir. Did you ever have occasion to visit Victoria Price in Huntsville Jail? Yes, sir. Did you go along on the railroad known as the L and N 
railroad there? Yes, sir. Were you Lester Carter and Victoria Price on the freight train? Yes, sir. Was there some fuss about some Negroes in the morning? Yes, sir. Did the Negroes come in that car where you were? No, sir. Did the Negro attack you that day? No, sir. Did any Negro attack Victoria Price that day? No, sir. They took you to Scottsboro? Yes, sir. Were you in jail with Victoria at Scottsboro? Yes, sir. Did you talk with her at Scottsboro? Yes, sir. You told the story you had, you had seen six Negroes rape Victoria Price and six Negroes raped you. You told a story like that? Yes, sir. Who told you to tell that story? Who told you to do that? Who coached you to do that? Victoria Price. Thank you.